in this session we will discuss about asymptotic rotations generally the performance of the algorithm is measured by using complexities that is either space complexity or time complexities now the complexities are represented by using these shorthand notations that is asymptotic rotations so the first notation is big o notation first one is big o notation in big o notation consider two functions f of n comma g of n and two integers n c two integers n not and c here c is a constant n not is some value of input n and if the function f of n less than or equal to c into g of n suppose we are calculating this one f of n value is less than or equal to c into g of n then it is represented as f of n is equal to big o of g of n that means big o notation specifies upper bound of the algorithm big o notation specifies upper bound of the algorithm that means the maximum amount of time taken by the algorithm suppose in pictorial form for some n not for example this is input n for some n not for this is f of n this is c into g of n after n not f of n value is less than or equal to c into g of n before n not there is no need to satisfy this condition for example f of n is equal to some 2n plus 2 g of n is equal to some 3n square assume these two functions first n is equal to 1 f of n is equal to 4 g of n is equal to 3 assume a constant c suppose c is equal to 1 f of n less than or equal to 3 condition fail and n is equal to 2 f of n is equal to 6 g of n is equal to that is g of 2 is equal to 3 into 2 square 4 to that means for all n greater than or equal to 2 f of n is equal to big o of g of n for all n greater than or equal to 2 f of n greater than equal to big o of g of n this is big o notation by using big o notation we are identifying the upper bound of the algorithm next lower bound that is omega notation lower bound <coughs> omega notation omega notation specifies lower bound of the algorithm similar to upper bound two functions f of n and g of n and two integers n not and c c is a constant or some value of n <coughs> suppose if the condition f of n greater than or equal to c into g of n for some constant c and for all n value greater than or equal to n not similar to upper bound only change is greater than symbol f of n is represented as omega of g of n f of n is represented as omega of g of n in pictorial form suppose for some value of n not f of n value is greater than c to g of n consider an example suppose f of n is equal to 2n plus 2 g of n is equal to 3 n square for n is equal to 1 f of n value is greater than g of n that means for all n greater than or equal to 1 f of n is equal to omega of g of n <coughs> this is omega notation omega notation specifies the lower bound that is the minimum amount of time that is below that time the algorithm does not work and next one is theta notation theta notation specifies both lower bound and upper bound of the algorithm both lower bound and upper bound of the algorithm consider a function sorry consider two functions f of n and g of n and two constants c1 comma c2 
and an integer n not represents some value of n. Suppose if the function c1 into g of n less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 into g of n for all n value is greater than or equal to n r. Suppose if this condition is satisfied, that means c1 g1 less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 into g of n, f of n is represented as theta of g of n. f of n is represented as theta of g of n. That means this theta notation contains both lower bound and upper bound. <coughs> Consider this one. It represents lower bound. Consider this part. It represents upper bound. That means it contains both lower and upper bound. Suppose the functions are c1 into g of n, f of n, c2 into g of n. For example, 5n square less than or equal to, suppose 5n square plus 2 less than or equal to 5n square plus 3. For example, n is equal to 1, value is 5, value is 7, value is h. So, it satisfies this condition. That is, f of n is equal to theta of 5n square. <coughs> so, these are three asymptotic notations useful for representing time complexity and space complexity. Once these complexities are identified, so big O omega theta. So big O specifies upper bound, omega specifies lower bound, theta specifies both lower bound and upper bound. Along with this, we have some little o notation. So simply little o notation represents limit n tends to infinity f of n by g of n value is equal to 0. It represents little o notation. Now the main important thing is once these are identified we have to represent order of growth. Order of growth means in which order the time complexities are increasing. Big O of 1 is the minimum time complexity compared to big O of log n, big O of n, big O of n log n. For example, assume n value is equal to 8. The time complexity is big O of 1, that is it does not depend on any number, simply is constant, that is minimum value, big O of log 8. So big O of log 8 means 3, so 1 less than 3, less than 8. Less than 8 into 3, 24. Next to big O of n square, 8 square, 64. Less than big O of 2 power n. Less than big O of n factorial. <coughs> this is the order. In which order? In this order, we are calculating, that is, we are representing time complexities. For example, f of n is equal to n cube plus n square plus n. Suppose if you want to represent this function with the big O notation, that is simply it is big O of n cube. Among these three terms, the highest time complexity is n cube. So we are using simply big O of n cube. For example, suppose f of n is this equation, some g of n is equal to n power 4 plus n power 3 plus n square plus 1. To calculate time complexity plus f of n plus g of n, find out the time complexity for f of n plus g of n. So f of n time complexity is big O of n cube, g of n time complexity is big O of n power 4. So f of n plus g of n is sum of these two. So among these the maximum is n power 4. Simply the formula is maximum of big O of f of n comma big O of g of n. That is the time complexity of f of n comma time complexity of g of n among these two. Which one is the maximum? That is the time complexity for sum. So these are the different asymptotic notations and the order in which 
the m complexities that is the rotations are considered thank you